All right, YouTube. It's a quick February state of the shack for you. As you can see, I have markings on the ground. These signify the corners of a 20 by 38 inch. 30 foot, 38 foot slab got the Honda park there for reference so this is where the new sheds gonna be I'm getting quotes this week to get the concrete poured I've already got quotes on the new steel building that's gonna go here this is the space it's gonna go in here's the previous shack for reference you can see the uh, sketchiness of it so uh, let's go over besides the good news of the new building finally going up, or at least the plans being put in motion. Honda got a bath finally. I still have to change the wheel bearing on it. I've done a little reorganizing in here because stuff has fallen over. So let's go in here. Got the Honda's mud tires in here for now. I went mud riding over the weekend and had fun. Didn't film it, but I did have fun. Today, I just spent a good bit of money ordering the parts for this. I ordered the engine kit from, oh, I'm trying to remember, somewhere uh, by Tallahassee, Florida. I can't remember offhand, but I ordered a whole top end kit for it. Should be here, he said, by Friday. So we'll see. I'm not going to have it in by Friday, but. I have the parts. It's going to take me a couple days to disassemble it and get everything prepared. I'll probably wash it real good. Things I still have to do, so I have the top end kit coming. You know, that'll take care of them problems. I'm intending on making a cover for this flywheel. They want 170 bucks for a used one that's the actual pull start that's supposed to go there. That's not happening right now. I'm going to make a piece of aluminum or something to cover that up. Um, I'm going to do, i got to get a new air filter for this because it got trashed because of the oil infiltration. I'm planning on doing as a precaution because from what I've read, these four wheelers are notorious for the oil spitting issue. I'm going to run a catch can somewhere back here with a drain going back to case. That way when it spits oil up, it can drain back. At least that's the idea. Maybe fixing the blow-by will clear all that up. Don't know. Still got to order a front axle for this side, brake pads, and possibly tires. Granted, these aren't that worn. I mean, they're worn for vampire tires, but this one over here is starting to get very leaky. Very, very leaky. Um, I think that's about it. Everything else on this four-wheeler is happy. Brakes are working again. I need to fi uh, fix the rear brakes, but that'll be its own thing. I might actually do a video on that because that little arm back here seized. I've been soaking it with oil, you know, once a day, every couple days now. And uh, I've, I think I'll do a video on how to free those up because that is notorious for enclosed drum brake four wheelers for that to happen. There's a procedure to get it out without breaking things and make it where it's useful again. Other than that, um, I've done some reorganizing in here because that toolbox almost fell over again. Termites have eaten the floor out under it yet once again. As you can see, this board is just disintegrated. Perfect timing, we're getting a new building next door with a concrete floor. So, back here you see some new toolboxes. I was going to film a to toolbox tour, and then I got these guys, and I decided, you know what, once I get the new building, we'll do a full building tour, and then a toolbox tour. But, this old Matco box and that Craftsman box are new. I got those from some dude throwing them out. Body shop had them out on the curb. I asked about them and said they're free. So, I took them. They're both in decent shape. They need a little oiling. The drawers were kind of sticky, but they're good. They're useful. That one fell through the floor already back there. So what's left of the wall is holding it up. But my idea before that happened was, you know, have all my main hand tools in this one. This one's got like bits and pieces, and that one's just got like leftover like wiring stuff and plumbing stuff, like 
hoses and fuel line, that kind of thing. And then I'll have room for my little cart over in this area. But all that's going to change with the new building. I'll be making new shelving racks and all kinds of stuff. Everything will have a different place. New uh, desks, new tables, new lighting. Granted, this uh, fluorescent lighting isn't bad. It does work. As you can see, this one, hold it just right to dim it out. I've got all new LEDs to go in the new building. I'll probably reuse this one. I'm going to build a new desktop uh, for the new building. Mount everything properly. I'm going to do nice and heavy duty so my vices can fit on there real nice and not bounce. I'm going to mount my drill press and my um, grinder where they're usable. And I'm debating whether or not I will make a wood shop section. So like this one, I just kind of have it sitting here off to the side. When you need it, you pull it out kind of thing. I'm thinking about making just a dedicated section to where it's just wood shop stuff. So, I don't know, thinking about it. But, got plenty of shelving units stashed around to where I can put in there. Debating whether or not this thing will go. I may get rid of this thing because the termites have had their way with most of it back there. Um, but that's it. This green thing's going to go. It's pretty rotten. I'm probably going to build more of these. These are very simple um, shelving racks that I make. They take like no skills to build. So I'll probably do more of those. So I got to start thinking about how I'm going to plan out designs and all for the new floor plan. But thought I'd give you all the good news. Good February. Uh, but that's about it. Oh, yeah, as for... Uh, my brother's Can-Am, this is all that remains of it. Just a couple parts. See if I still have, yeah. It's what's left of one of the main bearings. Trashed. So, that's about it. So, this one's getting ready to get rebuilt. Shed's getting ready to get rebuilt. And it's getting about time, because things are starting to get a little leany in here. You can the camera kind of flattens stuff out, but you can see the roof coming down like this. Um, those cabinets and shelves and stuff all leaning that way. You can kind of see how all of these are leaning away a little bit. All leaning that way. Let's see if I can show you how bad the floor is. You can see how it drops away up there in the front. So there's probably a good, I don't know, you can't really see it on camera, but I would say there's a good 8 to 10 inch drop right about there where the lawnmower is. That whole section right there drops down and then goes back up. So that's where the termites eat all the floor joists out and then the plywood's just sitting on the dirt below now. And then all of this space, not to mention... I mean, you can see all of this is just gone. I mean, this building's been here since the 50s or 60s, I think, so they definitely got their money's worth out of it. You can see here where it's just the wall is falling away from the roof. There's literally nothing left for most of termites for you. And this is damage that was here before I kind of moved in, before I even started working here. It's just gotten to where it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. So I'm thinking this damage was probably about when I first started working here they were active. Because when I first got here, this was not what it was. We'll go to here. From about here, you could get to the lawnmower and then it was a wall of just stuff piled like a hoarder's house, all the way to the back. You couldn't see any of these lights. It was just sheetrock and trash and boxes and anything you could think of. You could literally get to the lawnmower, a couple of tools over here, and the weed eaters were like right here. You couldn't get to anything else. It was totally inaccessible. So for whatever amount of time it was like that, the termites got their way with the building. I mean, since I've been here, if I see any activity, I spray it with Termidor. 
but you know that only goes so far but that is it for the rambling hope you enjoyed the video comment rate subscribe have an awesome day